Good afternoon. Welcome back to MTG Card Collector. It is a uh, wonderful Wednesday, and uh, I've picked up some packs now. This one and this one came from my local LGS. But uh, these all came from, are you ready for it? Walgreens. Walgreens is selling all their, uh, a whole bunch of their packs and their stuff. And uh, I normally don't buy them at Walgreens because Walgreens is really expensive when it comes to individual boosters. But right now, they're uh, they're like 260 269 a, a booster pack, so it's pretty good. And this cost me about $8.99. Normally, even at my LGS, this is like, uh, I think about 10 bucks. I mean, not one of the greater Planeswalker decks, but still, you know, that's how they get you. Um, not going to open up all these today. Might break this up and open up some of them to, on Friday. But let's, uh, let's, let's crack open a couple. Let's open up. Let's open this up. And those. And we'll keep these other ones for another day. So let's do it that way. So we got four Aether Revolts. Four of them. One pack of... Uh, we'll, yeah, when a uh, raw booster deck, and then of course the Tarkir. Um, let's start with this one. Start with the raw. I actually like these decks. I think they're kind of fun to play with people who don't know how to play normally. Um, they're they're good little ways of starting out. You know, you get the Planeswalker, which everybody wants. You know, because the Planeswalker is the best card in the entire deck. Let's take a look at it. Raw, Caller of Storms. Four. One blue, one red. Uh, up is loyalty one. You get to draw a card. Down is loyalty two. Raw, Caller of Storms. Deals three damage divided as you choose among one, two, or three targets. Uh, and negative seven is ultimate is draw seven cards. Raw, Caller of Storms. Deals seven damage to each creature your opponents control. Not bad. I just like it. It's a nice foil. Do, 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 do. Nothing in there. Let's open up this. Oh, crap. I forgot about that. There's two boosters in here. Let's take a look at the deck, though, real quick. Real quick, let's take a look at the deck. You got your Erotic Cyclops, your Omni Spell Adept, Rawls Dispersal, Leapfrog, Muse Drake, Passwall Adept, Eldikian, Fearless Harboring, Hal Halberdier, three of those, two uh, Fire Urchins. Two Hellkite Whelps. One Rumble Belt Boar. Two Goblin Electromancers. Rawl Statistic Caster. Oh, that's my little munchkin. I love you too, buddy. Whenever Rawl Spellcast Static Caster attacks, if you control Rawl Flamesbarker. This one for each card in your hand. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. I think that's only specifically for... Yeah, it's only specifically for this deck. We Dragonauts! Guild Gates. Islands. Mountains. Because how can you have a deck without islands and mountains? Chemisters. Insight. Maximum Altitude. Command the Storm! Direct Current, Precision Bolt, Sonic Assault. Notice I tipped that over pretty quick, right? You know, I didn't want you to get my code. Ha <laughs> ha! You didn't get my code! Play it on my account. My Yeah, anyways. Alright, so still whipping up into these. Still on that booster or on that uh planeswalker deck. Let's see if we would have got anything that would have helped us out if we were playing. Let's 
Anything to make that deck better. Nightvale Predator, Golgari Raider, Sinister Sabotage. That would have made it better. Yeah. Ooh, yes. Faraska. Another one. Golgari Queen. <laughs> Yeah. Now, just so you know, I got these packs from uh, from Walgreens because, like I said, uh, Walgreens is having their sale, and uh, I just robbed. I didn't rob them. I I bought out all the two two Walgreens that I know of or that I decided to go to. I bought all their all their stuff. Yeah, I mean, you get the same stuff over at your local LGS if your LGS does good deals, but. You know, this even beats three for ten. You know, my LGS, if you come in with $10 bill, you can leave with three packs. You know, don't ask about tax. But that breaks down to about three thirty-three dollars a piece, whereas this is two sixty nine, so it's kind of better. Well, it's it's like getting three and a half packs. Neurotic wound, join shields. Selective Snare, and Omni Spell Adept. That's all right. I mean, it probably, it might have, I think this one would have helped the deck out a little bit better, but whatever, right? Let's put the big hits right now. What are the hits? What are the hits? Hi, Munchkin, how are you? Good. You just gonna watch me a little bit? You just wake up from your nap and now you're just walking around? Yeah. Okay. So you can wake up. Okay. That's my little munchkin. He's a good boy. All right. Always a chance of a nice lottery card in these. I mean, it would be nice, but I'm not going to count my blessings. I'm not that lucky. I'm not lucky at all. Who am I kidding? Who am I kidding? I'm not that lucky. But, you know, hey, if I, maybe if I can get a fatal push, that would be nice. All right. Let's see, what do we got here? Oh, this is Aether Revolt, one of my favorite, favorite of all times. I actually like the artifact vehicles. I thought they were really good. Add a little spice to it. Trophy Mage, Reckless Racer. Illusionist Stratagem. Oh, I love this card. I, I'm going to read this one. I think this one actually will come into uh, modern at some point. Three and one. I'm sorry. Three and one blue. Exile up to two target creatures you control. Then return those cards to the battlefield under their owner's control. Draw a card. I think that's actually really good. You get to blink them out. Spire of Industry. That's a good card. That's a, that's a good keeper. Spire of Industry would be... Uh, I think that one, just because you, 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 it doesn't tap. I'm sorry, it doesn't, uh, doesn't come in tapped. Uh, pay one life, add one of any color. You mana pull, activate this ability only if you control an artifact. I mean, this is pretty much in almost every uh, commander deck that I can think of because they all run pretty good commanders. I'm sorry, uh, artifacts in them. And as long as you have one artifact in play, then you can pretty much pay one life and get whatever color you want. Well, of your commander colors, of course. I don't remember that one. I have to look in my book. Servo schematic, airdrop, aeronauts, and disallow. Awesome card right there. That's a freaking winner. I don't know what that one's up to, but that's definitely worth it. Three and one, counter target spell, activated ability, or triggered ability. Man abilities can't be targeted. 
that's okay. Covers the rest of them. That's awesome. I'm getting some good hits on these. I heard about the the eight, uh, not the eighth revolt. The uh, what are they called? Walgreens sale from one of the other YouTube accounts, and I was like, oh. Kind of had to go beg the wife. She said, sure. As long as you don't. Oh, I'm opening up. Yeah, this is a Konzatir Kier. Yeah, Konzatir Kier. Opened this one by accident. I got there, I was like, what? That's not right. So let's go through this one slower. Trumpet Blast. <laughs> Hooting Mandrels. Alabaster Kirin. Summit Prowler. Dutiful Return, Crippling Chill, Timur, Tim, Timur, Tim, Timur, yeah, I can't pronounce that word today, Timur Banner, Timur Banner, Right of the Serpent, Thornwood Falls, because when you absolutely need a tap land, there it is. Abomination of Gudal. Well, he looks pretty ugly, too. I don't know how well it's being picked up, but he's kind of ugly. It's got Morph. Remember Morph? Morph sucked. Morph sucked. Anyways. Dazzling Ramparts. Defender. Cost 5. It's a Defender 07. Plus, uh, I'm sorry, 1 and 1 white. Tap. Tap target creature. Death Frenzy. All creatures get negative two, negative two until end of turn. Whenever this creature dies, or whenever a creature dies this turn, you gain one life. Cost five to do two damage. Eh. 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 Murder is cut. Got this in my uncommon binder of staples. It's because it's got Delve. Delve is awesome. Destroy target creature. You basic theoretically it just costs you one because you can get rid of the other cards in your graveyard exile cards from your graveyard if you're not using them and Sultai Ascendancy that's not a bad card I mean I don't know what it's worth maybe a dollar the beginning of your upkeep look at the top two cards of your library put any number of them into your graveyard and then the rest back on top of your library in any order yeah. Not bad. And a mountain. And a... Uh, what the heck is that? I don't know. Not something I cared about. Let's go back to Aether Revolt. I actually meant to open the cons of Kirkir last. But, you know, when you open it, you open it. Metallic, Cruel, Unbridled Grove, Aether Storm, Aether Stream Leopard, Price Fighter Construct, Bastion Investigator, Renegade Map, Welder Katana, Automaton, Salvage Scuddler, Tezzeret's Touch, that's actually not a bad one right there. Cost three for an enchantment, enchant artifact. It becomes a Oh, sorry. Is a creature with base power and toughness 5-5 five, five, in addition to its other types. So you're making a watch a 5-5 five, five creature. When enchanted creature is put into the graveyard, return that card to its owner's hand. Rig Scale Tusker. It's a nice one. Glint Sleeve Snipe. Blah, 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 blah. Glint Sleeve Siphoner. One and one. Well, has menace. Whenever Glint Sleeve Siphoner enters the battlefield or attacks, you get one energy counter at the beginning of your upkeep you may pay two if you do you draw a card and you lose one turn huh, not bad planes in it energy card and last but not least like i said i'm gonna open up these other ones probably yeah next time i open up card packs maybe i'll get some more last one for today I mean come on we're at 15 minutes so last one for today the 
Come on, something good. Aetherborn. That's not a bad one. Gifted Aetherborn. Where was that one when I was playing with the Aetherborns? I needed I needed a full playset. Now I have it, and now I can't use it. We'll figure that one out. Okay. I'll stop complaining. Barricade Breaker. Uh -huh. Has improvised. Loved improvised. Loved improvised. Wish they would bring that one back. Fatal Push. Hell yeah, that made it worth it right there. $5 card, easy. And aid from the cow. Okay, yeah, whatever. Fatal Push. Aid from the cow, I'll read it. Three and two. As we bolt. At the beginning of your end step, if a permanent you controlled left the battlefield this turn, reveal the top card of your library. If it's a permanent card, you may put that, put it onto the battlefield. Otherwise, you may put it into the bottom of your library. This one didn't get played as, as that much. I don't know why. But Fatal Push is everywhere. It's a great card. Well, let's take a look at these hits again real quick. Got the Fatal Push. Glint Siege Sniper. Siphoner. Sultai Ascendancy. Aid from the Cowl. Disallow. Awesome card. Spire of Industry. Rawls Dispersal. Eh, I put it here because it's a rare Turn target creature to its owner's hand. You may search your library and or graveyard for a card named Rawl, Caller of Storms. Reveal it and put it into your hand. If you search the library this way, shuffle it. Yeah, it's just like, you know, whatever. Erratic Cyclops. Omni Spell Adept. thought we had two of those. Yeah, we do. The Rawl, Caller of Storms. And Varaska, Golgari Queen. She's awesome. Okay, well, if you like the video, subscribe to my channel and ring the bell. The bell, the bell's over here. Hit the subscribe button, hit ring the bell. Do the thumbs up. Thumbs up, it helps me grow. And uh, the notifications will let you know when I upload a new video. Uh, if you have any questions, leave a comment down there. All comments I try to leave, or I try to uh, write back and, and, yeah, anyways, I, I like to talk in my comments. If you have any questions, just give me a comment. Have a great day.